That was a, quite a load in there. Um, quests in foreign lands. Investigate the Forsaken Village, which is actually kind of back where we were. <laughs> back down the hill. And now the robots have that, that weren't there before coming up the hill are there now. And they're quite dangerous. So we're not doing that right now. <sighs> um... Long legs and stalkers. We don't. We haven't encountered either one of those. So talk to Zaid. Oops. Skill set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, five more. Five more. Uh, mounted pickups. Shard scavenger. Expert carver. Increases resource inventory slots by twenty percent. That is good but not necessarily for this challenge <laughs> critical hit <laughs> um yes i'm gonna go with this one so now we're down to four skills the leader strike is nice but uh Uh, okay, have a chance to knock off armor and components. Okay, we'll hold off for right now. We're at uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, wait. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh, three more skills to go. Ah! We're running out of choices here. Here is Zaid. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. <laughs> Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refused to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. Dang, that's bold. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. You didn't say but killed. We were able to injured. Subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong. Now that seems a little fishy. Away. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. So, if you sent her on her way, where, where is, is she? Now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock. That a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. Hmm. Interesting. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things. But Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. Hmm. You've really gone out of your way to help, <clears throat> Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> A little bit suspicious, but uh, he did explain it off fairly well. Except the letting her go part. That that did seem a little bit odd that they would just let her go. So, so wh where would that take us, actually? A lonesome rock all the way over there. Okay. Well, we're not we're not there yet. Actually, you know what? We could. Yeah, we, I guess we could go over there. Just depends. And maybe break a small thing, uh, 
south to uh, gather, uh, what do you call it? The tall neck there. Can't trust him. Small thing. Still. I heard you talking about trouble in the new clans. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. <laughs> Fresh back from the cut. Why'd you do the walkabout then? With the words. Better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there. Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. <laughs> What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuke kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuke are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? It's I've an seen odd phrase. Out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. <clears throat> All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuke funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, no, we go my to the danger. You might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer too. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the Sacred Land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. <laughs> Sounds like a good Friday way. night. <laughs> Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. Sounds thrilling. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Into the Frozen Wilds. That is DLC quest, everybody. DLC. Not something we're dealing with today or anytime soon at the moment. Actually, there's a trader. Oh boy, I need to actually go talk to this trader up here. See if they have some new stuff. They do! Silk's light for no reason. Ooh! Spark worker light! I'll just buy silks just because it looks nice. I want to have all the green outfits. Ooh, for melee. Nice. Yes, we finally have some good uh, good armor. Okay, and look at that. We are looking styling. And no, you can't shoot those boars. When I <laughs> first went into a settlement and I saw a pig, a domesticated pig like this, I was like, ooh, shoot, shoot! And I was just like, why are my arrows not hitting? What's going on? You can't shoot domesticated animals. Beyond the sacred land, I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. Alright. Okay, there's two ways to go about here. Uh, we can go down this way, I think. But yeah, I thought the entire game was going to be nothing but snow, ice, uh, northern climates, and then we get here... And it's like a freaking desert. You're in the desert, dude. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is this was such I wouldn't say a culture shock, but it was just like a shock to me. I'm just like because I had I had done every quest the first time playing through, and I had spent so much time. I even went to the north and um, explored the Banuke area. Not not the DLC content, but the one that was just south of it with the friendly machines and stuff. 
which is actually a quest to get Meridian, but I didn't know at the time. But I explored everything there. And so I thought that was kind of like the rest of the game was going to be like. And then I come here and I'm like, uh, uh, oh, oh no. This is... Dust. Oh yeah, dust. It's coarse, rough. It gets everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, those are some new machines. Trampler. Those are super deadly. Uh... By the sun. Are you Nora? I've never seen one at a hunting grounds before, or at the Hunter's Lodge. How interesting. Oh, this guy's kind of... I wouldn't say creepy, a just... To test yourself against a, a little bit too forward. <laughs> Think you can handle it? He's too happy. Excellent. I like your spirit. You're awfully friendly. She, she even points it out. Well, you know, it gets lonely in the wilds after a few weeks. <laughs> Terribly lonely, in fact. What about your friend over there? Oh, he doesn't count. Barely ever opens his mouth, and when he does, <laughs> nothing interesting comes out. Which one will you try? I'll explain whichever you pick. That did not sound like his voice. Uh, parts wrangling trial, tie down trial. I don't even have the weapon for the tie down trial. Pace trial. Ugh, ah. The remains of watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> I would have chosen the same one. Slide down a rope, and I'll start timing. Okay, we need to figure out our game plan. Okay, you know what? There's no point getting for the one in the center. You want to... It's better if you go this way and work your way. Here we go. And just avoid the center altogether with the tramplers. Peace out! And must keep going to the last one. Woo! Oh okay, god, got it. Woo! Okay, now I just need to get the heck back to the... Without dying. Just stay out of the way for now. Oh gosh! Hello there, Trampler. Don't mind me. Wow, those things are huge. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, but they can attack me. Oh gosh, he's still attacking me.
Oop. Gosh darn it. You really pissed me off. <laughs> See ya, sucker. All right. I'll save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. Whew. All right, let's talk. You won a blazing sun on your first attempt. Congratulations! Yeah, <laughs> we done. I should leave for now. I'm done with this. My next hunt. What are you? That is a storm bird, my friends. That is a massive, crazy, Just go by your business. huge enemy that I am not even remotely prepared to defend against right now. That one requires a brand new weapon, which is very situational. Um, it's the the tie caster or whatever that uses ropes to tie machines down. That is the trick to beating that thing. But that was fun. That was a fun little excursion through the hunting ground here. Okay. Let's continue heading to the Sundom. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Where, where, where are we headed? Ah! Hold on! Quests! There we go! There we go! That's the... That's the ticket. So that was a fun trial. Some of them are really fun, don't get me wrong. Some of these trials are insanely fun. And then of course, you know, uh, some of them are just, just blisteringly evil and hard and I'm like, why did I even think I could do this trial? Getting blazing suns on all of them is pretty ridiculous though. Bronze sun, pretty manageable. Uh, full sun? Possibly. Blazing Sun and all? I'm not that skilled. So this is just another fort here. There's, I don't think there's anything here. Nothing that I'm aware of. <clears throat> but yeah, I just love this environment. This desert environment. In fact, if... Oh, there's the Tall Neck right over there. Look at that. Are we going to like do two Tall Necks now in the dark? Is that pretty much how it's going to work? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we can actually make it on this side of the river. <laughs> Another signal. Yeah, I see it. What is that? Oh, that's a glint talk. Oh, there's. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Uh. Okay. There's, I mean, one, that's a snap jaw. I mean, one I could probably handle on my own easy enough. But, uh, four? That's kind of pushing it. Just a, just a wee small bit. So we're going to swim across. 